So we're here with Sean, the owner of the Murder Nova. I think everybody online probably knows you by now from the from the TV show. We're here at Outlaw Armageddon, and this race is just nuts. It's out of control, man. Well, what's awesome is you guys are doing so well. I, not many people know that we used to film you before For the sure. TV show, and yeah. it's just awesome to see you guys yeah. living the dream, racing all the fastest cars in the U.S. It, it's, it's, it definitely has its ups and downs, but it's... it's I, I'm getting to do something that I've, I've wanted to do, you know, yeah. and we're going to street race with or without the show. We were here before the show, we're going to be here after the show, and it's letting me travel right now and, and do things that I wouldn't normally get to do. Are you still enjoying it? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure it gets I'll stressful quit. occasionally. I'll quit whenever I don't enjoy it anymore. How do you like the whole fame thing? Man, famous people are rich, so <laughs> I, I, could, I could deal with it a little bit better if I was rich, but, you know, it, it's like anything else, man. It has its ups and downs, so I, I don't mind the people. I still can't really get it through my head, the fact that people want to come and see me and want to take pictures with me. I'm just like, what's wrong with you people, you know? It's cool to see you guys every time we run into you. You're still humble. Yeah. You guys are just out there racing, and that's what well, people don't know until they, they come to a race and see you. That's yeah. Everyone's just racers here. Well, this deal's going to end sometime. And I'm not going to be that dickhead that, that changed, you know, whenever he got a little bit of stardom. It's not going to happen. Well, thank you for bringing the car out today. No problem. It'll be man. a badass race. I hope so. I hope so. Good luck. Thank you, man. So we're here. We're here with Big Chief at Outlaw Armageddon, one of the craziest no preps in history. What do you yeah, think about the race? Well, I mean, look at all these people. Oh yeah. It's so awesome seeing you guys doing this, just living the dream, racing oh, all the... This is what we do. You know that. Oh, we yeah. would have done it whether or not we had a show. We'd be doing it oh, yeah. every night, just like we always did. But you don't have not. a hard time finding the guys now. They all will find you. Yeah, yeah, right. Back then, it was hard to find fast street racers, right? Now, everybody's a newfound street racer. Yep. Ain't never been on the street, went out and bought them a car. That's why I tell people, I say, you want to know who's real? Ask them how long they had their car. How do you like the fame thing? that came with the TV show, because I know you guys, every time I meet you guys are still humble. And that's because we're still poor. <laughs> you know, it's the same thing Sean said. <laughs> Being poor and famous is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my entire life, because whether I think I'm cool or not, when you got so many people that think you were awesome, they just want to hang out, they just want to piece you, they want to be near you, they want to be next to you, they want to hear you say something, it's the coolest thing ever. You can change people's lives. It's, it's the greatest thing on earth, but, being so poor that you have to lay underneath the car all the time and fix it because you can't afford to have people help you and you can't afford to have the latest, greatest shit that's not gonna break. You know, I got 240 passes on this motor. It's halfway burnt up now, but I was up till five in the morning working on it. You know what I mean? What sucks is you gotta do that right here while they're all standing right there waiting on you, you know? So it's hard. A lot of people probably think you have a, a a crew that brings the car here, you put yeah. your makeup on, you, you sit in the seat and you race. Hey, no, I show we up, all know I better. helicopter in, parachute down, <laughs> with my helmet on, jump in the car, make a hit, and I'm off to the next yeah. place. That's what they think. We're all I had stand out here last night, watch me, I did everything almost by myself to get the car ready. Being poor and famous is hard, man. You can't have a bad day, you know? Yeah. You, can't, you can't be on Sunday mowing the grass with no shirt on and flip-flops, <laughs> you know, wanting to smoke a joint, and then like, you know, some neighbor, somebody's coming down the street, hey, can I get your picture? I'm like, oh God. like, dude, I haven't shaved in three days. I got a sleeveless on. I feel like shit. I was drunk, you know, last night. I got a high hangover and I'm in, I got no <laughs> shoes on. And my kids Sometimes are you just need a break. My kids are running around butt naked, you know? Yeah. But you can't. You can't have that because they don't understand it, you know what I mean? Whether there was 15 of them before or not, all they know is when they yelled Big Chief, I didn't smile. You know, so yep. it's the toughest thing ever. If I was running. rich, I could be behind a big gated community, you know, instead of my thousands of Justin Bieber it up. Well, in the end, you're, you're a hero to a lot of people. There's a lot of kids back here to look up to you. You're very motivating. It's, greatest, it's so awesome to see. Well, thank you very about. much for bringing the car out. Kyle, it's thank always you very awesome seeing you guys race. Street Outlaws wouldn't even exist if it weren't for people like 1320 and, and Big Rob and those guys pushing us to, to get people to see us when we didn't want to. You know, we were we were scared to death for you guys. Who the hell is this Utah. guy? Well, yeah, you He's going to turn us into the cops. He said, I'm going to come down there and videotape cash this. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You're from where? Why would you want to come here to videotape what we're doing? You know what I mean? And Good luck, man. Thanks, bro. It's going to be badass to watch I'm your race. It. Hopefully, I'll let you get back to the car so you can get to your fans here. you got a line that's like. Yeah, I know. I got like 10 minutes to make a four lane change and a roll bar, set the wheelie bars, and then I got to stand over there for four hours to take pictures of sign oh, all your so. Well, thank you for the time. Yep. Thanks. Good luck.
So we got Mr. Monza in the house with not a Monza. I always laugh when I hear your name on the show. <laughs> Car is looking beautiful. Are you having fun with the show? Yeah, show's fun. Yeah. It's demanding. I bet. It's pretty time consuming, I'm sure. It takes a lot of time. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Oh, for sure. Well, I appreciate you bringing the car out. It's cool to see all the guys in one spot, for the most part, all the guys in one spot for the public. It might be a little stressful with so many people wanting autographs, but it's really cool to let everyone meet you guys. So yeah. I appreciate it. And it's always turned into a lot of work. It's nice meeting all the fans. Yeah. Seeing people that actually appreciate us putting all the hard work and time in to have them on TV. Yeah. They're heroes for a lot of people. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks, thanks for coming out. Good luck today. All right. Thank you. So we're here with Doc and the Street Beast. It's beautiful Monte Carlo. We've, we've seen you run a couple times uh, down in Texas, Oklahoma right. a couple times. Are you having fun with the TV show? Having a blast. The TV show is a dream come true. That'll be keeping, keeping you busy, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. It's uh, wake up with 9,000 things to do, and I go to sleep with 9,000 things oh, to yeah. do. It's every day, nonstop. Is the racing fun? Uh, the racing for the show is not as fun as it used to be. This is fun. Yeah. So this is fun. The, the show's okay. The out-of-town episodes are really fun, but the normal list racing, there's just too much at stake on your losses. Oh, yeah. The wins mean more, and the losses mean a hundred times more. The way we used to do it, if I'd lose, I'd just come back and call the guy out either the next day or a week <laughs> later. Now, if we lose, I may not get a chance to race that guy again for several, several months. Oh, yeah. So the losses just mean, they're just tremendously more. They mean so much more. Cool. I appreciate you bringing the car out. It's going to be buddy. awesome to Thank let all you the fans see you guys in person. Hey, hey, I like being back on 1320. This is where it all started for us. Oh, I appreciate yeah. you guys. So it's kick-ass to be back on 1320 again. It's that about time. Thank it's you. about time. You bet, guys. Take care. Good luck today. Good job.